Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go on out in the garden and do a little watering. So I figured I'd take you with me. I got some plants here that we'll have to take care of that we started. Some herbs, a um, wisteria, <clears throat> excuse me, a wisteria plant and some uh, crepe myrtle is in the little one. And then we've got some chives and some uh, succulents and basil that's a spicy basil in the little white pot some more herbs and some irises and spring bulbs so we're not going to um, worry about them for too much longer we'll have to transplant them we're gonna head on to the backyard and get to the garden hose on the way we'll check everything out there is our herb bed is coming along nicely those are tomato plants and some beans and things that we started earlier those pine berries are all in there as well Ooh, look at that the um, roses are up hey journey that's journey hello baby hello baby hello she's such a sweetheart journey is actually a stray she adopted us so we uh, feed her and take care of her now these are mounding perennials. They are a, a particular kind of rose that grow here, and these we planted not too long ago. And as you can see, they are already blooming and opened up, and uh, I can also have to do some weeding. You can tell that too. Over here, we've got some more spring bulbs. These are lilies that are getting ready to come up, and we've got some lantana that won't come back up for a while our roses look like they're doing pretty good that one that bush only cost us three dollars at ollie's so we're hoping it will go this bush you can see the difference this rose bush came from it was either lowe's or home depot and it was like seven bucks those flowers aren't doing so bad our newest windsock we have a sago palm over here is our japanese magnolia and that is already in bloom, as you can tell. We've got uh, some bulbs, but we had a little bit of frost. So as you can see, they're starting to get a little icky. <clears throat> to be expected. And I can tell that we're going to have to give this some fertilizer because the leaves are turning a little yellow here too. This is actually a Myers Improved Lemon. So we have that our bird feeders we have to get more bird food as you can see they have been tearing it up the suet is left they don't eat the suet as much as the uh, or as fast as the other stuff we still got hummingbird food and some seed in here so won't worry about that before we get out the hose We'll also come on over here and take a look at the rest of the plants. This is the blueberry bush. And as you can see, it is already starting to come to life. So we probably should give them some food too. This is our cedar tree. And our cigar plant, some other pretty flowers. The uh, Shasta daisies are doing really well over here. Let's see those. Make nice big blooms and they continue to go year round. <clears throat> These two beds are part of a new project that Michael and I want to do. We want to make a arbor walkway and use beans to fill in the walkway. And then we'll have, you know, different vegetables and herbs in each of those two beds. But as you can see, we still have to get the beds ready. Here's our pear tree. We pruned that this year. We had some dead branches. Looks like it's doing well. These are our potatoes. And we've got garlic. That's coming up nicely. And this is our onion bed. So that's looking good as well. We did plant some tomatoes over here. And as you can see, they are trying to come up as well so that's a good thing our pineapples did not uh, 
do so well after the frost. So we might have to get rid of them. I don't know, they're still rooted. They're trying to make a comeback. We've been throwing eggshells in there to try to supplement the soil. We'll see what happens. This is our pomegranate tree. It's a baby tree, of course, and it's doing pretty well. We're gonna have to transplant that soon. And that big tree that you see with all the leaves here, over here, show you. This is that pecan tree. We did a video earlier on the uh, pecan tree root that Michael brought home. It was about that big and just a root it was all it was. It looked like a stick, actually. Big hunk of stick, hunk of wood. And um, now it's transformed into this. So we're gonna have to transplant that soon as well. All right, so let me go get the garden hose and stop running my mouth and uh, water our plants. <clears throat> All right, I'm at the back of the yard. This is a patch of wild blackberries and there are some wildflowers that grow in that section. We've also got over here, they haven't come up yet. That is a section of lilies. Those are the dead leaves. We leave them there as mulching material. And then over here, is our grapevine, which will not do anything until we get another grapevine. So we could do that this year. We mainly wanted to see if it would survive, so we didn't invest in too many, but this will eventually be our vineyard, see, we're hopeful. And then up there, we've got our jasmine. So I'm gonna water this section and make my way back to the main garden. I just finished watering everything, but before I go back inside, I wanted to show you this. Just pay attention to how many of these uh, beginner pine cones there are all over this tree. And I'm going to show you what that translates to in just a minute. This is a uh, southern pine and they are all throughout my property. And we'll get a closer look so you can see these little suckers. They are full of pollen and they release that pollen into the air and it actually will make a, um, you can watch it be released. <clears throat> it's kind of weird. It looks like there's puffs of smoke coming out of the tree, yellowish green smoke, but it's actually pollen. And that's why you hear me keep clearing my throat because right now the pollen is extremely heavy. It is so heavy that you can actually write your name in it on uh, different surfaces. So I'm going to see if I can find a surface to show you what I mean. Uh, we did have some rain and dew the other day, so it might not be as thick as it normally is in spots. All right, here you go, look at this. This is actually a clear glass table, but look. That, my friends, is accumulation of pollen that has sat overnight and gotten wet, and this actually ends up in your lungs. Help! <laughs> if you live here in the south. So, I'm going to show you another section before we go in where you can see the uh, yellowish green tint, I think. It normally accumulates over here on the lid of the garbage can. So, we'll see if we can get you a better shot before we go back okay, inside. Okay, there we go. See? It's like a uh, green greenish yellow sticky substance and even though it got wet with dew you can still see more of it on the garbage can that's how thick it is and this will happen actually every day I could wash this off and it's going to have the same amount of pollen pretty much on it the next day it's just really really heavy this time of year so if ever you do come visit the south in the spring keep that in mind Spring is high pine pollen time, so bring your allergy medicines with you. Otherwise, <coughs> you're gonna be coughing and sneezing, just All like right. me. Finished watering everything out here, and uh, we'll go back inside and get ready to go to the DMV. Today is driver's license renewal time. <laughs> 